let's learn about imaging in infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis risk factors of hypertrophic pyloric stenosis are male gender which has four times more risk the first born child of the family and a positive maternal history the child presents with intermittent non bilious vomiting laboratory findings include hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis and on examination we can find olive shaped mass in the pyloric region of the child let's move on to imaging findings the first and foremost investigation done will be plain x ray in which we can see a dilated stomach bubble and there may or may not be paucity of bowel gas on barium meal study various signs are described we can see a narrow pyloric lumen which is called as string sign and the duodenal cap filled with barium called as mushroom sign the entry to the pylorus is beak shaped and hence it's known as beak sign and then there will be shouldering in the pyloric region of on ultrasound imaging we can see the hypertrophied muscle which appears hypoechoic and the mucosa which appears hyperechoic the diagnostic measurement criteria are as follows single pyloric muscle wall thickness more than 3 mm the length of the thickness more than 15 mm and the entire pyloric transverse diameter should be more than 12 mm let's move on to the named sonographic signs the hypertrophy mucosa appears like a cervix known as cervix sign the mucosa can protrude into the duodenum which is known as antral nipple sign and on cross section it is known as target or donut sign thank you for everyday learning follow our youtube channel and instagram page at radiology doodles